It's Memorial Day weekend, and the smoker going for some ribs. I don't have a really shoot up here, but uh, we've got a couple tea tea plants there, and one of these is an elderberry and a bunch of flowers and stuff. But I view the garden from kind of at the top of the hill here. You can see we're all grown in now. So uh, getting to be pretty private. And here we are. Tomatoes getting going. Just getting the fences five feet. Peppers are coming in. We had a really crazy storm blow through yesterday. So <laughs> look at this branch. Looks like he's trying to be one of the plants. Oh, I guess Trees is using us as a, as a stake. <laughs> Interesting. Um zucchini, some tomatoes. These are the tomatoes we started in the basement from a seed. And this is a tomatillo right here. And I think that's spaghetti squash. That's climbing up in the back. And our lettuce is hiding in the shade cloth. And here's our asparagus patch that we're starting for. It's gonna take a couple of years, but um, you see these little asparagus growing? The idea is you let them, let them just go wild for a couple of years to really establish their their base, and and then you can start cutting the cutting little asparagus spears off and eating them. And. This has been our best year so far, this time. Like I said, Memorial Day weekend, so it's... The 25th or something? Um, anyway. Herbs. The uh, cilantro has started bolting, so that's done. Else is, this is oregano. It goes pretty crazy. These peas, I'm gonna see if anything happens there. Looks like some of them are, you can see some little ones starting in there. Might be too hot for them. And this, that little fence is four feet tall, so. Um, some horseradish there. And these are cucumbers, I'll show them a little later. These are eggplants, and peppers, or something that's eaten the crap out of the leaves. Um, a couple more tomatoes, We're getting huge. This is our strawberry plants. I mean, it's the first year. I've been getting a lot of, a lot of little strawberries off of them. This tower has done really well for that. I'm gonna try it slowly. Here's my corn patch. Again, fence is four foot, or just, just a little bit under that. And they held up to that wind. Um, this probably needs to be thinned out, but, uh, anywho, keep on moving. This is already a four minute video. Uh, these are mostly bell peppers, and this thing didn't really do anything last year, so it's nice to see it do this thing now. Bug flying around my head. Um, these are, that's another tomato we started in the basement, Black Prince. Same with this guy, doing really, really well. Hanging out with the peach trees here. The apple tree there, fig. Another with uh, I don't know, so 
So that's one of the hybrids tomatoes doing really, really well. And I think this is another Black Prince here. And then there's this guy. It's like, dude, what's wrong with you? Everybody else is so happy. Um, these were collard greens. We're eating them today with our barbecue. And you can see the potato patch over there. Tomatillos. I don't know what that vine is. That's interesting. Kale. Got the cloth on it to keep the, uh, there's like a moth or something that lays a, lays a egg and starts destroying your kale. And, sorry. These are the determinate tomatoes that grow flower, fruit, and move on to the next life. Green beans coming up. Here's, and looking back. The tomato patch over here, about four foot now, coming along. Um, in here, the other side, man, the sun is hot today. And you can see the cucumbers are starting to come in now. There's uh, at least see three of them. These are shishito peppers. There was edamame over there too. Um, and then the blackberries. Look at the blackberry. They're, uh, they're starting to. I don't know what's happening with the blueberries here. They won't ripen, so the plant is not happy. And we definitely lost our rosemary, which is a shame. It still smells amazing. Alrighty, that's it. Uh, that's it for this. Well, next time we're gonna have lots of tomatoes to uh, put on display. So, have a good weekend.